It'll blur your vision of reality. That's what fear will do and your past. So they lived in this fear of scarcity in their past, and so they're going to have trouble seeing things. What about on the spiritual side, though, right? Church. Like I said, a lot of people here, because their churches wouldn't see things correctly. We have a huge... We can, our online audience is just as big, right? And why? Because they don't have a healthy place to go to. And it's a sad commentary. So I was talking about you can't tell the difference between the world and the church. Statistically, this is why. Because they're operating in the same mechanisms. They don't have a healthy spiritual relationship with God because there's no diligence to pursue Him. My birthday. It's a sad day. They shut down on my birthday, right? So I had to put that in there. You know, and you have other groups that continue, right? They, they pushed all the different parts of the agenda. You know, pray safe, stay safe. Like that was somehow going to uh, make everything medically okay. If, you know, if there was a real problem. But like I said, a lot of people uh, fell for that. Well, let's see where the, uh, the Israelites go. So now they're going to go about six weeks out. So we're going for three days to six weeks. You're going to see this move. And they're going to get their next little test here. And they journeyed from Elim, and all the congregation of the children of Israel came to the wilderness of Sin, which is between Elim and Sinai, in the 15th day of the second month after they departed from the land of Egypt. Then the whole congregation of the children of Israel complained against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. And the children of Israel said to them, Oh, that we had died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt, when we sat by the pots of meat and we ate bread to the full, for you have brought us out into this wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger." See the next step here, right? They've been there there six weeks, and they're in the desert, and they don't like the bare minimums of what they're going with. So what do they do? They don't come to the Lord, right? They accuse the Lord. And think about this. Now, now imagine yourself. Anybody who's been in this situation, you have, you have to put yourself in this situation. How many people have seen somebody or been that somebody who, when times get tough, they start seeing their history in revision, right? The old sin that I used to be in was a better place than I am now with the Lord, that's what they're saying right there, right? That's a dangerous statement in your life to get into when you start looking at your past and thinking, oh, I w- I'm better off in that depraved situation I was involved in as to where I'm now with the Lord. It's better to be with the Lord in the tough situation than it is in that world where do you really think they had pots full of meat and bread that they, all they wanted, right? Oh, yeah, and we forgot about that they were killing our boys and the, drowning them, right? Minor details when you start... Don't deal with your past. That's the real warning there. When you don't really see things as they are, this is how you can get into a mindset which puts you out of reality, right? You're not really seeing things as they are. And now you start slandering God's character rather than seeking Him in His fellowship with you and what He can do for you and how He can help you. 